Nestled in West Africa lies a land of untold wonders, Mauritania. A land of striking beauty and uncharted territories beckons the intrepid traveller with its raw authenticity and unexplored landscapes. Over the next week, I'm going to be venturing deep into the Sahara Desert with a group of other like-minded, curious and adventurous individuals, all with the same passion of exploring destinations that most tourists will never get to and embracing the thrill of the unfamiliar. This expedition will take us in a convoy of rugged 4x4s traversing boundless desert, discovering hidden oases, quaint villages, before we catch the infamous and unpredictable iron ore train back out to the coast. So join us through this captivating land where mystery, adventure and a lot of fun await at every turn. Welcome to Mauritania. Our journey begins in the capital city of Nouakchott, the beating heart of Mauritania. A few of us on the tour had arrived a day early, so our guides arranged a few bonus points of interest to check out before the rest of the group arrived. We are at the camel market. Let me show you around. <laughs> That's a lot of camels. Which one are you gonna buy? I don't know, he's quite nice. I feel like I'm in some crazy dream. I've never seen so many camels in my life. I only just saw a camel for the first time a week ago in Morocco. I'm not sure how to feel about them. They're very chill. Mauritania is known for its camel markets where traders can buy and sell camels. These markets are essential for trade and cultural significance in Mauritania, reflecting the country's nomadic heritage and economy. God. They're quite terrifying actually, even though they're not doing anything particularly intimidating but it's almost like their silence and lack of movement is what's intimidating they're mysterious aren't they what are they thinking which one do you want colin one's got a mohawk over there oh really it's got a nice, nice oh what the mohawk on the hump yeah on the hump it's got a nice long sturdy neck yeah i think that's a good one mm. big strong legs mm. how much would you pay for that a couple of quid <laughs> So we're now about to visit the fish market. We just got out of the car and it is pongy. <laughs> We're not even in the market. I don't even. I can't even. I can't even see the market. It's not even in my eyesight, but it is in my nose sight. I could tell you that. Oh. Hello, hello, sister. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. From, from England. 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 Manchester yes. United. Chelsea. The Nouakchott fish market is a bustling marketplace where local fishermen bring in their daily catches to sell. It was really impressive to see the entire operation that is carried out on the beach here. It appears like such chaos, but at the same time, everyone knows what they're doing, and there is efficiency and method to the madness. We got our first taste of driving along the sand as our convoy of 4x4 sped along the beach. <laughs> and we are in the dunes. <laughs> the dunes. In the dunes. We made it. We made Mauritania. it. Mauritania. <laughs> Go on, run up then, Jess. Go on. Run, run, go, run, go. Run, go. Run, run. I popped the shoe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking to the sand like a duck does to water. <laughs> Two. Oh. <laughs> Who would have thought that there was so much to go into a taking a jumping photo? We played around in the dunes as if it was our first time seeing sand. It's funny when you stick a bunch of adults in a big pile of sand, how they quite simply just become like kids again. Oh, well, this is quite a look from me. I'm wearing Sophia's hat and glasses, as well as my own hat.
It's almost like syrupy. It's so nice. Where? <laughs> Got a bonfire going now in the desert. Or in the sand dunes. Oh, I guess we are in the desert. We're just quite close to a main road here. We're getting more out into the middle of the desert. Yay! In a few days' time. By the morning, the rest of the group had finally arrived and it was time to get stuck into the trip. But before we head out into the desert, we headed into the Nomak shop markets for some supplies and to get kitted out with some of the local dress. What are you getting, Colin? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy. He's getting shafted. <laughs> oh, wow! It's quite stiff. This is almost like plastic. That's so, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> One of the three wise geezers. Jesus. <laughs> three wise geezers. Yeah. Welcome to Bethlehem. Talking yeah. 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 sense, man. Yeah. I mean, I think Palestine I look great. You do look great. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The one? I think blue, that's the one. Is blue my colour or is white my colour? Mm, I didn't see the white on you, but the blue does look good. It brings out your eyes. Oh, uh, Christian, you're getting dressed by the local lads in the market. Do you think I should take my bag off or leave it on? Uh, leave that's, it on. That's going to be gone forever once, once this is wrapped around me. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this how it goes? I think it's pretty good. Maybe try it without the hat. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Do we like it? Yeah, we like it. We like it. I regret my decision already. Um, I paid 300 Mauritanian money for this. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I don't know what, what, what was I thinking. I felt under pressure. Well, in Everyone fairness, you had me. like 100 people Everyone watching Everyone was you watching doing me. It. I, was, yeah. I was even made to do like dance in it. <laughs> <laughs> what was a, a, a oh, crack. Yeah. 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 So today we have an absolutely humongous plate of couscous and some veggies and some fish. Same as yesterday. They do have portions here. Like, look at the size of this plate in comparison to my hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. So we've got our outfits, we've got our supplies, we are very well fed and it is now time for us to start heading eastward, straight into the depths of the Sahara Desert. We drove as far as we could before making an impromptu decision to stop early in anticipation of a pretty hectic sandstorm approaching. So we have stopped on the way to our camp tonight because the wind has picked up quite a lot and it also means then a lot of this like very fine dust has kicked up. And so we stopped at sort of like a perma camp and we'll be putting down beds now. The guys are making food in the kitchen. Everyone's chilling out inside of this uh, sort of like almost a permanent little oh, kind of camping building. And this you can see is a giant bladder for water reservoirs, but it's the, the best shout because otherwise we'd be sleeping in tents in a sandstorm. It would also be very hard to make the tents. Welcome to the sleepover room. <laughs> oh. Hey. And Red June brought some Percy Pig, so as you can imagine, I'm very happy. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, I'm a cuddler. Ben, welcome to Wacky Willie's YouTube. Hi guys, welcome to Ben's daily journals. <laughs> daily journals. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> 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 we have.
have two different types of pasta. One of them has got camel meat, and one of them has a mix of both goat and camel. I wasn't expecting to have pasta, actually, at least so early on in the trip. That's delish. And for starters, we had like a pumpkin soup with bread. Mm. Felt like we were a bit on an episode of like SAS Who Dares Wins this morning. It was like, we <laughs> had to get up out of bed and pack our bags pretty fast to get them on the bus. Now it's sitting in breakfast, I feel a lot more chilled. And we've got some nice hot bread. Yes, please. No, oh, no, we're doing well, we're doing well. Thank you. Got some coffee. It's a nice little spread of things this morning. I didn't sleep overly well, but also not the worst either. Oh, that's the milk? You can open this. I can open this. Just stop it. Go for it. Go on. Go, go, go. I should not have had the technique. Your hand is shaking. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if this flashes on me, you get me back. Oh yeah, they're getting it opened up. The, the knife is like so bendy. Oh, God. Whoa. 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 You are Yay. Yay. Just out of the couch. Yeah. Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> It was so, so, so windy last night and also is this morning. Feels like a proper little, not like a sandstorm, but like, you know, pretty windy in the desert. It is, if you blow your nose, you'll get like this red compound that just congeals in your sinus. Yeah, and you could just hear the wind like rattling through the windows last night and I, I peed, right? And I kind of like stood up as I peed in the middle of the night and it, it like sprayed like all of like this. Golden shower. Yeah, <laughs> except I'm quite hydrated actually, so it was more like a, a clear shower. I love when the hat goes like that because it's like a pirate hat. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> literally just talking about if we would stop for petrol uh, or if they carry it with us but we have stopped off at a petrol station called the Star Boutique the finest in the Sahara Desert oh, now what good. I'm curious as to how much the petrol is this guy's gonna give us some air in our tires so that was like a thousand for 20 liters I can't do the maths in my head right now, but I'll do the maths on screen. Oh, I'm struggling a bit. Yeah, a little bit. It is uh, a bit windy. Yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? We're good, just avoiding this mega dozen store. Yeah. This is Africa. <laughs> Go to Mauritania. <laughs> yes, we're waiting. So we're basically just driving deeper and deeper into the Sahara Desert. How much longer we will go for? <laughs> None of us know. It's better than he's in yet. I'm fucking done, love. I don't know about his in yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's shimmying or just doing that with the steering wheel for a good time. Yeah, it's <laughs> just doing a bit of both. <laughs> Wow, I think we might have arrived. You! This is cool, isn't it? This is insane. How does that form? I don't get it. I it's just wind? flat and then it just, it's just oh flat. Maybe it's the wind pushes it up? Oh god, no yeah. idea. We're gonna walk to the top of this giant dune of Azuega and there we will see many dunes. Wow. Sahara. Okay. And then we'll come back down. Meanwhile, the guy's are gonna be preparing lunch over in this direction. Awesome. Lead the way, Tony. Go, go, go. Oh my this god. Is the wall. <laughs> this is going to be tough. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to pace myself. If I go slowly, then I might have the energy to keep going. Oh, I didn't warn us about this. Oh. Hi. Really hard. Yeah. Our 
question earlier of how sand dunes are formed, it is through the process of erosion, transportation and deposition of sand by wind. When wind blows sand particles on the ground, they eventually settle and accumulate in mounds, creating sand dunes. Taking the um, the dance move of the digger very literally. <laughs> Yella. Yella. <laughs> you got little little uh, tuna. I got some tuna and some rice and some salt. <laughs> ah, lovely. <laughs> Yeah. Also, got iced tea or normal tea? A big plate of veggie here. Some of that? Yeah. Some of the, the veggie flour that's gone around. It's going veggie is there. Mm. Okay, let me get a little bit of this. I don't know what's in it, but. Oh, it's a little shop in the middle of the desert. Wow. Head in the tree. You see the tree. Oh, wow. Yeah, literally. Yeah. A little tree tree house almost. Bonjour. Ça va? We're literally in this tent which is made inside of these trees. Why well, I ask you to come here? Because these two girls, they are not like the others. There's like in Schengen, you will see that tomorrow. Just they came here and wait. They don't bother clients because they are here for enjoying time, taking pictures. Oh, you've got all kinds of things here, bracelets. What's this? Is this what you're saying? Is it for smoking? Is it for smoking? <laughs> <laughs> you got some key rings here. I really like the bolts. Yeah. Like, how cool would that be? Imagine you have like a new home. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Like a salad bowl. Yes, awesome salad bowl. I've made a purchase. I've gone for this gorgeous handmade bowl, which they used to use to transport goat milk. Um, but I'm thinking this could be a really good, like, either Pringles holder or I've, been, I've had an idea for lint chocolates can be held in here. Or maybe some apples that just live in the kitchen. So many uses, so I paid 900 Mauritanian money for this. As well as Savannah has also given us some tea in the tent. All, all the good things happening in this tent. Who would have thought in the middle of the Sahara Desert? These cars are literally just driving through this thick sand. We can't use the air conditioning during this time because it just works the engine too hard. Gosh, look at their humps. I've never seen a camel run. Running camel. Do you prefer the ones which have one hump or two humps? Three. Three humps? <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that answer. What is the name of the fruit? Pastec. What is it? Pastec. Pastec. Mm. Taste of much. I don't really have any feelings towards it, but I don't really want any more. What is it? Pastrec. Like Do I eat the seeds then? That's what I just did. It's like a crossover between a corn kernel and a melon. If they were oh. married, ah. and it tastes as unexciting as that sounds. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. That's actually very good. Yeah. Yeah. But they're laughing it up. Absolutely loving it. <laughs> okay, so I think we've arrived at our accommodation for the night, but apparently it's been a little bit impromptu. Because it's very, very windy, the gang were not so sure about building our own tents here. But apparently, as we were driving, they came across these little abandoned huts, supposedly, and have decided that that might be a better accommodation for us for the night. So yes, we may be staying in these random straw huts in the middle of the Sahara Desert.
Oh yeah. Setup's going well. That looks cozy. I think we could sleep in there. Thank you. I'm What's wrong with the letter M? Four plus four. <laughs> I feel like I look like Professor Quirrell all the way over. Wraps the uh, wraps the wrap now. <laughs> Tea time again. Very like yeah, sweet, syrupy, minty. That's why it's small. <laughs> Oof. No problem. Here we go. Ah, oh, dinner has arrived. We've got some couscous. We've already had our starter of soup again, which was very nice. Here's some stew probes. and couscous for dinner. It's the moon, it's a full moon. So good morning. Um, the gang's all here, and they're gonna make a tent over. You guys are the Yeah. Jesus, like, where are you going, Jeff? Got it, got it. slow, Lara's watching. I'm holding guys with you. All right. Oh, breakfast is so. I'm not losing my teeth, but. It's true, you know. It's true. Is that honey? Good thing. Oh, yummy. I'm going to be sugar. <laughs> 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 Just how she likes them. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. I haven't had you say it on the whole trip. I've turned it down. No. Oh, oh I've been recording that all time. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> and we're That's a really good idea. Oh. I just, it's just there. It's like 75 Oh, yeah. Rick Bob it Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Get in there. Have a picture, please. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. Thank you. Uh oh. Yeah, happy snack for them. Two, two, three. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Abdu asked if I wanted to climb this sand dune. I was like, I don't know. Anyway, now it feels like a challenge that I have to do. After driving through endless desert for so long, it can often make you question, where are we even going? And how can we possibly be heading to anywhere at all? But on this particular stop, we walked across some big rocks, which would reveal for the first time in days, an actual town. We had reached the town of Chinggeti. There's a lot of reasons why travelers come to Chinggeti, but before we delve straight into town, we were told there was a beautiful oasis nearby. This is like the 15th time we've been dancing today. It's only one o'clock. <laughs> So I guess I was expecting us to be in like some kind of like natural oasis and um this is this is this is the oasis. <laughs> Welcome to Pride on Common. No, this is not warm. And we got some 
I won't lie, after having not seen running water or any body of water for that matter in several days, being in this tiny swimming pool felt like we had found a little heaven on earth. <laughs> So what we thought was the oasis before, which wasn't actually the oasis, it was just like a little pre-oasis, a little swimming pool, which is gorgeous. Now we are, or we have arrived at the real oasis, I believe. How do you feel? That's cool where you are. Little pirate coat. Yeah, it's certainly fresh. <laughs> but uh, oh. it's certainly fresh, but it's so beautiful. Oh, here comes Colin! Where's Tony? He's chilling. Now swimming in the real oasis, this really is heaven on earth. I'll just be told off by Abdu as well. <laughs> do you keep getting told off? You do, I feel like. In the next episode, we are going to be exploring the town of Chinggeti, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and discovering other historical villages, all on the way to our final goal of catching the iron ore train. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode, and I will see you then. Bye bye. I'm passing the phone to someone who bought all the Percy pigs. Woohoo! This is Ray John. I'm passing the phone to someone who cooks really well. This is life. I'm passing the camera to someone who plaited my hair last night. I am passing the camera to someone who almost jumped in with me together. I am passing the camera to a pain in the ass. <laughs> I am passing the camera to someone with beautiful hair on their heads. <laughs> Aww. I'm passing the camera to someone who is a very good swimmer. That's you. I'm passing the phone to someone who's had a slippery accident today. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this kind of shit. Hi, I'm Will, and I'm passing the phone to someone with really big boobs. <laughs> there could be a couple people there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass that train along.